Welcome to Reread. We're on our final Star Wars novel in the expanded universe. Yes, we're already there. It is Crucible by Troy Denning. Uh, and this one, uh, Tahiri is working again with the Jedi. And I don't recall, I guess Jag released her when he left the Empire, but I don't recall that. I don't recall her being back with the Jedi. It's fine because I, I believe roughly a year has taken place since the events of Fate of the Jedi here. So a lot could have happened. I just didn't know if Tahiri had gone back to the Jedi and what that was all about. Maybe another unresolved <laughs> conflict there. Uh, anyway, Han and Leia go to help uh, Lando with something. They come across the Crifts. Uh, Myrta Give is back in this, and I just totally forgot that she was a part of this, uh, uh, Fett's granddaughter. And she's still trying to find a cure for the nano nanotechnology, the nanobites that are around the home planet Mandalore, so that Boba Fett can get back to his home planet. That's been a kind of an ongoing theme. And <clears throat> the uh, the there are quest Jedi out there that Lucas sent. The, to find the monolith and one hasn't reported in in a while it's the same place where han and leia are so luke decides to go now the whole jedi order is protecting luke because he's still recovering from abelos fight and i like that i like he's been recovering for a whole year and uh but he decides he needs some time away you know he doesn't want to be babied he's just going to go out there and of course it's the force pulling him in that direction as well uh there is and i remember this there's these things called bias they're like homegrown. They're not like clones. They're kind of, you know, by bi bi biology. I don't know. It's kind of like clones. They're grown. They have outer skin around the exoskeleton, I believe. It's kind of weird. I'd forgotten they made one of Leia for a short time. Uh, Vistara, who is in this, she gets one. Vistara is in this for like, you know, just a couple of chapters, then leaves, escapes. So we don't really get to see more of that. We don't see to get to see her and Ben you know, a confrontation between them. And I guess because Troy Denning thought he was going to put that in a future book. But um, anyway, the, the Quiffs uh, find the monolith. They get force abilities. Leia and Luke go after them. There's a big uh, beat down battle. And I'll be honest, and I remember this, boy, these characters get tortured. I mean, Han and Leia have a car crash. Uh, Leia is, half of her hair is burned off. She's got burns on her face. I think Han has lacerations. Someone had to get an eyeball replaced. Han has a hole in his stomach for a while. He lost a leg. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, they're, just, they're maiming. I mean, Troy Denning is just maiming these characters. But of course, the magic of the monolith or whatever happens to them when the Criff brothers get destroyed um, because they've accepted the dark shadows of, of, I guess, the dark side of the force. So Luke and Leia are fighting the dark side of the force now because we can't just fight dark Jedi. But uh, after that's done, Han thinks Leia's dead. Leia comes out as young as she was when he first met her. And she only remembers the events of the opening of Return of the Jedi. You know, when she unfroze Han from Carbonite. So Han has to tell her the story of their entire lives since then. And as he's telling her that, she's growing back to her regular age. But then she's completely healed. And Han's scar in his stomach, you know, he has a hole in his stomach. Now it's just a scar. It looks like it's a year old, says Lando, after they come out of this monolith you know it's a bubble that surrounds and hides the monolith and luke makes sure to bury that so no one else sees it he doesn't think it's the monolith just one of them and the force was very raw there which is why i guess it automatically healed wounds but they did all this to decide and troy denning told me that he wrote this book to you know retire han leia and luke and at the end they say you know what? we've done enough it's time to retire it's time to retire let the kids take away so i'm guessing for the next couple of ventures no Han, no Luke, no Leia. You know, and that's that's what Troy Denning said the plan was, is just to hand off to the next generation. And maybe in the next big event, at the very end, Han, Luke, and Leia come. I, I, he didn't tell me that, but that's probably what they were thinking. But for the most part, keep them out of the story going forward, you know, for the most part, until they were needed toward the end, maybe. And yeah, I guess it serves as an end for that. And oddly enough, it serves as an end for the EU in a way, because Luke goes, we're going, he tells Ben, we're going away for a while. Oh, and you're never coming back. You know, I wish you were coming back, Luke and Han and Leia. But uh, that'd be so cool if, you know, maybe years pass, Ben's older and Luke and Leia, old Luke, uh, Han and Leia come back. If they write another EU novel <laughs> based off the uh, uh, sequel of Crucible, that'd be just great. But in a way, there's a lot of unresolved uh, story plots, okay? So it's not a good ending for the whole series. I wrote a whole story about that once. Um, but 
it, as it stands as the final book, them saying goodbye to the galaxy, taking a rest, is about the best send off we're going to get for these characters. And I'm sad that we're not going to see more about these characters. The book overall is fine. It's exactly what I remembered. But it being the last one chronologically, remember Honor Among Thieves was the last, I believe, EU book that came out. But that was a uh, you know prequel, uh, not a prequel book, but a before the uh, original trilogy book. And uh, this one serves as the ending of the main characters as we know it. It's not the best ending, but it'll do. You know, it'll do for now. You know, I'd, and I'd love to see this story picked up one day. I'd love to see the characters, you know, what happened to Vistara, what happened to... Avaloth, did they find, you know, did they finally kill Avaloth? Did they ever go back with that? You know, the Sword of the Jedi, did Jaina have kids? Who did Ben marry? You know, what, what you want to know all this stuff. How did the lineage continue? Who was the person in between Ben and Cole Skywalker, which we're going to find out about next time? But, uh, you know, overall, it's really sad. I read this book and it's okay. Like I said, it's not the perfect ending, but that little blurb at the end when they're all talking about taking a break, you know, Han. Luke and Leia. And Leia, Leia says that, you know, they've been, the, they, they've been so agile because they use the Force. Han didn't even have the Force, and he's been keeping up with them, but pretty soon he'll be old and decrepit, and so they need to have some, you know, quiet time alone before that happens. And they deserve it, and the galaxy, they've done plenty for the galaxy, and it's time for them to retire. So, for that reason, I guess it's the best ending we'll get, and I'll take it for now. All right, folks. That's it. No more books, but that's okay. I have an entire comic book series to go over next time.